Hello and welcome to Career Rights video on quantitative aptitude. Today in this video we will be covering up the chapter decimals. We will be discussing five different kind of problems which could very frequently be asked in various entrance examinations all across the nation. May it be a management entrance exam, may it be an entrance exam conducted by a bank or a government body. So let's approach the first question. The first question is, we have to find out the value of 0 0.54 to the power 3 minus 0 0.36 to the power 3 upon 0 0.54 to the power 2 plus 0 0.54 into 0 0.36 plus 0 0.36 to the power 2. Now we know that a cube minus b cube's formula is a minus b into a square plus ab plus b square. Now we will simply put our the, the this formula in the same shape as the question is given. So a cube minus b cube upon a square plus ab plus b square would somewhat resemble to this question. Now what we will do is we will get the value a minus b which is equal to this whole thing. So we will simply minus a from b. We have two values here 0 0.54 and 0 0.36 this two things are only being played in this whole given question so a would be 0 0.54 and b would be 0 0.36 we can see we can equate it here and we get the answer as 0 0.54 minus 0 0.36 that is 0.80 now 0 0.32 into 0 0.0064 is equal to what we will simply multiply 32 by 64 and we will count the number of decimals 1, 2, 3 and 4, 1 and 2. The total decimal places are 6. We get the answer as 2048 and what we do is we write down zeros adding up the 6 decimal places. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it would be 2.048 into 10 to the power minus 3. Next question. The price of commodity chair increases by 50 paise every year while the price of the table increases by 20 paise every year. If in 2010 the price of the chair was rupees 5.50 and that of the table was rupees 7.20, in which year chair will cost 40 paise more than table? Now suppose chair will cost 40 paise more than table after x years or we can also take it as z years. So 5.50 plus 0 0.50 into z that is 0 0.50 increase for z times in z years 7.20 plus 0 0.20 increase in z years for z times so the difference would be 0 0.40 we will solve for z and we get the answer as 7 so the chair will cost 40 percent more than table 7 years after 2010 that means in 2017 The next question. If the sum of the two numbers is 9 and their product is 20, find the sum of reciprocals. So, we will write down the equation. A plus B is equal to 9. Then A into B is equal to 20. We know that the reciprocals are always written as 1 by A, A plus 1 by B is equal to A plus B upon AB. So, we know the value of A plus B. We know the value of AB. We get the answer as 9.20, which in decimal is 0 0.45. Decimal questions are really easy. These questions are intended toward checking your speed. How fast are you on calculations? So, last question. Priya student earns rupees 13.75 per hour for gardening. If she worked 23 hours this month, then how much did she earn? Also, she give 1.3 of her earning for rent. What are her savings? Look, this is a very simple question on calculations. All we have to keep in mind the decimals and we need to be quick in calculations when these kind of questions comes in examinations. Earning per hour is 13.75. Now total working hours are 23. So we'll multiply 13.25 by 23. We get the answer is 304.75. This is the total money earned. Now she gives 1.3 amount for rent. So 1.3 of 305.75 so left over is 2 by 3 the remaining amount would be 2 by 3 of 304.75 so we get the answer is 
decimal being an easy topic i hope would not bother you after watching this video thank you